you were getting caught up with your pals the other day. You've ever heard of Sober October? That's an email band from Hamilton's? No, it's just like being sober for the whole month of October. Oh, one month off booze ain't gonna cleanse out your livers. Well, it might help you a wee bit on the scale, though. Everything in moderation. You ever heard of No Nut November? What's that? Well, I bet it's got something to do with not nutting in November, Dad. You know, regular ejaculations decreases your risks of prostate cancers. Oh, well, fuck, now we're having fun. It's good cardio, though. How many of you are trying to say to me, Derry? But I was reading about this thing called Beat Your Dick December. Beat Your Dick December? What's the rumpus, Grumpus? Well, you look at the calendar, and if it's like the first, second, or the third, that's how many times per day you need to mix a batch. So on the 20th of December, you got to mix 20 separate batches? You got it, Pontiac. There's 30 days has September, June, and November, all the rest 31. So. so on the 31st, you'd have to batch 31 times? You heard it here first. How's he going to fuck that, pigs? Well, from the 1st to the 5th, you're having a good time. And even up until the 10th. Mm, the 12th, you're starting to fade. Man, by the 15th, you're definitely not full bars. Oh, I don't think I could continue past the 15th. Yeah, me neither. Wayne? Yep. You're saying you could batch 15 times on the 15th, despite the fact you batch 14 times the day before, 13 times the days before that, and so on and so forth, back to ones? Yep. Could you do 20? Yeah. Stay hydrated. Let's say we pick up the conversation on the 25th. Oh yeah, the 25th, Christmas Day. That presents some obstacles, what with family obligations and whatnots. You need some plans. What's the plan, Dan? Please explain, Wayne. All this, like everything, starts with diet. Well, what's on the menu? Well, you'd want foods that boost your testosterone, likely. Huh? Judging by biceps over there, I think that's already on the menus, likely. Oatmeal, tuna, red meat, and poultry. Remember when I said stay hydrated? Well, a person should always stay hydrated, dearie. How'd you maneuvers around your families? Yeah, nieces and nephews. You wouldn't. I really think that you should, Wayne. You're going away for Christmas. No, uh... Destination Christmas? There has to be an alternative. There's no alternative. Well, what about presents? Real men finish what they started, dearie. He's right. So now the critical component in all this, I think, is sleep. I hadn't even thought about that. Well, you've hammered on it 25 times in 24 calendar hours. And the day before, you've hammered on it 24 times in 24 calendar hours. And so on and so forth, back to once. Yeah, you need a good night's sleep. Well, some napping in there, for sure. Yeah, you'd be pretty worn out from all the Christmas Eve hustle and bustle. So I would suggest getting a solid 12 hours of sleep to rest and replenish, then wake up, hammer on it twice an hour for the next 12 hours to meet your quota. 24 times in 12 hours, still one shy of your Christmas Day's quotas. I know. So when are you going to squeeze out your 25th squeezers? Well, dealer's choice, really. No. No. No, this ain't no 12-hour effort. There's too many variables in a window that small. Too much uncertainty. So you're saying you'd use the full 24 hours? Yeah. Yeah, we're on military time now. When do you start? Zero dark. That's when Santa comes. And then? Zero dark 30. So you'd hammer out the first two in the first hour you're awake? Can confirm. And then what? Once an hour for the remaining 23 hours? You bet. Hold water. And stay hydrated. All what you want to do is you want to set your alarm to wake you up every hour on the hour. And the program is you wake up, hammer on it, sleep. Wake up, then you'd hammer on it, then you'd sleep. And so on and so forth? Well, some snacking in there for sure. Yeah, a handful of trail mix. Now you've hammered out your first two at zero dark and zero dark 30. But even back to back those fellas if you're feeling good out of the gate. And then it sheets a 100 hours just up the road. And stay hydrated, of course. Some snacking in there for sure. Need some snacks. You think you want to do it standing up so your muscles don't atrophy? I think if anything, they'd hypertrophy. Oh, I think so too. Would you alternate hands? Oh, you'd have to. 25 one arm squeezers sounds like a lot of unnecessary strain on the heart. Yeah, you definitely need a helping hands from the other guy. And you could stick with that program till the 31st? Yeah. Wake up, hammer on it, snack, nap. Wake up, put well, on your hammer on it, snack, and nap. And so on and so forth? Rinse and repeat. Have you considered performance enhancers? See, the fact you'd even present that says a lot about you, good buddy. You could just as easily call this an antisocials December's. 
Wayne. There. Could you make it to 31? Well, if I've executed Christmas for a total of well, ballpark 325 squeezers in one fiscal month. Well, you're a man on fire. It's like I'm indestructible by both scientific and pop culture standards. Tank like momentums. So? Yeah. <laughs>